Good morning, my fellow Earth Angels. Thank you so much for being here and joining me today. I feel like I've really gotten the rhythm of starting every single one of my videos in the morning. So you're just seeing my little morning routine, but you guys have given me the green light to film the mundane aspects of my life. So here we are again. I have a lot of things to do today and um, I didn't have that much time to do my practice, but I did this Ram Dass meditation and I really liked it. He has a bunch of random meditations on YouTube and it's just a simple and sweet one, but I did my little sock curls and I just let these sit in my sock for an hour after I woke up this morning and they look pretty good, but I think I want to do an updo, which I don't really do very frequently, but how are we feeling today? What's the hot gossip? How is your internal state of awareness? What's keeping you young and vibrant and free? For me, I just finished mooning, so I'm just feeling good. I was dancing this morning, feeling like I can get everything that I need to done. I'm feeling very productive and on top of my stuff in a way that isn't completely depleting me or overwhelming me. I'm waking up with a to-do list in my head, but I'm letting that go until the day actually starts. I'm speaking my joy out loud more frequently. Like, I am just so happy to be alive. I'm just so happy to feel and experience anything at all. We're gonna roll with this. I saw this TikTok about one of the easiest ways to romanticize your life being in your choice of clothing and appearance, how quickly you can put on a new persona and be a whole new person and try on these different energies. And I really resonated with that. So let's do a little try on and see what the fit is for the day. Here is outfit option number one. We have this little red moment happening. I even have some heels on, which I don't even really wear shoes in my day-to-day -day life. So if I have heels on of all things, I'm feeling pretty poppin', like I'm showing up differently. But today's video is sponsored by ThreadUp, which is one of my favorite sponsors. I use ThreadUp all the time and they are an online thrift store with thousands of brands that you know and maybe used to love for a discounted price. It is super easy and convenient to shop on their site. I really like to add my sizes to every search and you can look up specific pieces that you might be looking for, specific colors, and it saves so much time. If you do want to be slightly trendy but you don't wanna support fast fashion, I really adore thread up for this but let me just show you some of my most recent finds on there first is this skirt from Zara it's kind of like this tweed vibe and I love the slit this was originally around $43 but I got it on thread up for $26.05 this is just my favorite outfit and realistically what I want to be wearing every single day I got my boots all muddy and ready for adventures but this top is by the brand kimchi blue and was originally around $48 but I got it on thread up for 15 I love the material I love the style and how dainty and light it is and I just have a little lace bralette underneath it's just uh, makes me feel some type of way and I'm styling it with this free people skirt that was originally around $105 but I got it on thread up for 37 I can wear this with so many pieces that I already have in my closet which is always something that I look out for when I'm thrifting I suppose I'm really feeling red for this spring but here's yet another Zara top I got it on thread up for 14 and I love the material of it. I love that I can wear a strapless bra with it and I'm just wearing it with some ripped denim and the heels and I think it'd be really cute. Tied around the waist like this, just picture it. Estoy en Barcelona, it's 3 p.m. Estoy bailando por las calles. I adore this. I'm styling some secondhand boots and this skirt that I sewed myself with this free people top that is so comfortable. I really like the ruching on this side with the tie straps. I'm really into it and pretty much all the pieces I buy from ThreadUp feel like I'm buying something firsthand. It's just in such great condition and great quality that I can't even tell really that it's secondhand. Thank you for indulging my alter egos and if you would like to get 35% off of your first order. Use my code Hitomi, click the link down below and shop some of my picks. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay, I'm gonna get ready for my day officially now. Hello friends. I just had an amazing meeting with this auntie, this elder. I love having people in my life 
who teach me things. I feel like that's the whole theme of my year. And she did some healing on Reese and I and shared so much with us. And I just feel so full and grateful. This is just a mental note for myself and for you to sit with elders in your community, start conversations with older folks that you see, know that you can form unsuspecting friendships and gain so much wisdom and kinship with people who look differently than you, who sound differently, who are in a different age and world and it is just so beneficial. It just fills my soul. So I just wanted to share, but I'm gonna get out of the woods now <laughs> and get some food. A little tortilla action. So we found the tempo. Can you try to sing over with this beat now? Mm -hmm. And if you want to speed it up, you I like to disappear most of the time. Don't want to have fear on my mind. Feeling blue. It's not about you. Switch it to that. That'll come in later. <laughs> when you're making music, don't get demoitis, or, or I don't know if that's the exact word, but don't like, it's not a perfection right away. Mm -hmm. Get these great ideas down. Like, I'm using this, like, you know, hundred like $400 keyboard, or whatever, and like, we're just getting the ideas down, the demo down, coming up with ideas. And then if you get back in the studio and you have it all kind of like, I know what I want. Now yeah. I'm gonna get like a real piano on it, or I'm gonna okay. get backup vocals. But like, just keep. It's like painting just sketches. Mm -hmm. until you this is Luca, who is an amazing musician, and he's helping me do things with music. Very low key. No expectation. I mean, I'm low key and like not a singer, I'm but he's key. helping I'm me come out of my shell. So yay! Mm. Thank you. We're all you. just coming out of our shell, right? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to find yeah, shake it so. off. Shake free a little bit. Oh. <laughs> Check out his song on Spotify. Thank you. That was Thank so you. good. That was incredible. That, that wow, felt we amazing. Did a lot. I was like, we should have set a timer. Just like we have one hour <laughs> to make a hit song. Like, get the pre-chorus. Get, get the pre-chorus pre and the bridge. Where's the chorus? <laughs> it's like Top Chef. Like. Oh my god. It's 5.15, I'm back home. I'm gonna spend the rest of the day editing, hopefully get a video up. I'm about to go to the market nearby and get some groceries to make some dinner, hopefully some greens. And I just feel so full from the day. Just this unifying feeling that we are all having this experience side by side. And it is such a gift to be able to share the stories of our lives. And we have so much to teach one another. <laughs> That's kind of been the theme of the day. and. I just feel really grateful for the human experience and the fact that we get to share and have compassion and be in togetherness in any capacity. It just makes my inner child so happy. I seriously felt like the loneliest person in the world for half of my life so far. And I am rewriting that. These past few years have just been like, this is another way that life can be. And I'm continually in shock and awe and a single moment of peace with someone means so much to my heart who thought that wasn't possible or who thought I wouldn't be able to feel fully safe with others ever and so I just feel on cloud nine honestly like so grateful and um, just feel really blessed with random strangers who become friends who have open hearts. It is time it's the I just made myself some cacao and I'm gonna edit for another 45 minutes, but I am so exhausted. I'm at the point in my life where it's 9.15, I'm in bed, I have my warm beverage and I am ready to pass out and I wouldn't have it any other way. I am so excited to rest. I've been sleeping so deeply and really keeping track of my sleep, getting at least seven to eight hours every night. And that looks like being in bed by 
9 30 10 and i have another full day tomorrow i'm actually pre-filming videos before i go to india because i won't be able to film or upload all of may so i'm trying to get four videos done before that in between these videos but i'm really excited i'm filming myself making a collection from start to finish and it's going to be about eight pieces and i'm really excited for that but that's what i'm working on tomorrow i am just so happy to be cozy and in bed with all my candles lit it's just one of my favorite things. As I mentioned, my original intention for this day was to film the first part of this video where I'm making eight ceramic pieces from start to finish, but I immediately felt so much pressure to make these pieces good and perform at a level that I'm not quite at yet. I'm still very new to ceramics and I really enjoy sharing bits and pieces of my process while knowing that it doesn't really matter if the pieces come out good or bad and the ceramic studio has just become a safe space for me to explore my creativity and simply be a beginner so I'm not gonna film that video and I felt such an energy shift when I released the attachment to that and I just really enjoyed throwing today for myself and I want to keep my ceramic sessions really pure and something that has nothing to do with with anything at all except for the internal experience. So I made a bowl and then I was gonna make another huge bowl but ended up making a wobbly cup which I've been wanting to try. It has two little indents in it and I think it'll be really fun to hold but I made the top indent a little bit more dramatic than the bottom one so it came out a little bit less even than I had hoped but I still think that it's a really fun piece and I love how you can't really go wrong with ceramics and especially if you're making things to eat or drink out of they can be as funky as you want them to be and as a beginner i just call everything organic it's just an organic kind of look even though it's a little bit wonky and just because i'm not super good yet but i'm really enjoying making the basics and these are some pieces that came out of the kiln that i've made recently a bunch of mugs which are my favorite because i love huge mugs for drinking tea out of and this is how some of my more recent bowls came out. I really love this one in particular but yeah I put some other big bowls in the kiln for their first firing and that's all I did in the studio for the day. <laughs> How's our matching sweaters? <laughs> so cute. Reese and I accidentally showed up in the same outfit with boots and sweaters and skirts that we surged ourselves. You know, very yeah, shittily, but we did it after all. <laughs> Your butt looks amazing, by the way. <laughs> My love won't budge. Hello, flash forward 24 hours to me packing, flying, having my flight canceled and spending a full day just getting to New York City. I just got to my dad's apartment. I'm going to do some stretching. It's 11 p.m. and I legit have five appointments tomorrow with doctors and just different life admin kind of things because every time I come here, I just go to all the doctors because they actually take my insurance and I'm going to my dentist and getting my knees checked out and just very like <laughs> adults, adulting things. I'm so tired and I'm just feeling so grateful. I always feel very emotional, very much like I need to rant and pour out and walk the city streets and journal for like five hours quietly at a cafe, you know, <laughs> because New York is the place where I just found so much of myself and a place where I was severely depressed for a while and coming back and having a different perspective and feeling like all the dreams that I was dreaming up here are now my reality is so crazy because I would put on a good playlist and walk for blocks and blocks every single night and just manifest and just visualize my dream reality and oh it really makes me emotional and i also fell in love with youtube when i lived here in new york and it just never fails to humble and amaze me this journey that i've gotten to share with you and that we've been on together i've been filming for i think a decade at this point i started when i was 15 
really casually, but mostly when I was 18, 19, documenting my deep sadness and fashion stuff. And now I'm in my mid twenties, I'm 25. So that's just wild to me. And it's been such a safe space for me to just express myself. And I'm just so grateful and I want to keep being more of myself. I've been having a lot of reflections about how I have felt with YouTube, which is that I haven't been as inspired recently, or I feel like I'm changing as a person in different ways, or I don't want to just make certain kinds of content and just allowing myself to remember that the intention behind making these videos was just to be a safe space to explore this life and all of the different forms and embodiments and the multi-dimensionality of who I am without um, limits. Thank you for being my little soul family on here and my safe space. I am gonna stretch right now and pass out and I think that maybe I'll vlog my first day in New York City. This is kind of like a productive weekend in my life kind of thing. Good morning! It is 9.30 and I'm about to run out the door, but I'm eating miso soup for breakfast that my dad made because he knows that I like it and it never fails to make me feel so deeply loved and cared for. His girlfriend is a ceramicist and look how cool this is! I love this matte glaze and the inside is white. Here's my list of appointments today. Catch you out there in the big world. Appointment number one, I'm getting my knees looked at because I did a 22 mile hike earlier this year and they were in so much pain. And granted, I'm not hiking 22 miles every day, but ever since then they've been extra sensitive. Even if I just hike a mile or ride my bike, I notice that they're more prone to really intense achy feelings and I did fall from a three-story building when I was young and I think that it's just a good time to get that checked up on and see what's going on. So I'm getting my x-rays done tomorrow and my dermatology appointment was rescheduled so now I'm just gonna walk 40 minutes to this little vegan food place before I go to the dentist because I don't think I'll be able to or want to eat for a little bit after going there. The lash loft where I get my lashes lifted and is it okay if you're on camera? Yeah. You don't have to be. Yeah, I, I can be. <laughs> I always feel rude talking. excluding you. Okay, this is Paula. She's Venezuelan and she's doing my lashes, so yay. <laughs> this is before and I'll show you after. And this is the after. Paula got some shots of the process and more close up. It's really subtle and I, this is one of the few pampery beauty care things I do. I don't get my nails done, I don't really get haircuts, but I have really long lashes and I stopped wearing mascara and this is a really low maintenance thing that helps me to accentuate them. It lasts three to eight weeks and for me it usually lasts longer and I can jump in all the rivers and do my little forest nymph thing and my eyelashes stay nice and curled. So I really like it. Back home now, it's 
it's 7.15. It's been a very long day and it's not over yet. I'm eating some thick bucky, which is one of my favorite meals right now. I was so excited to eat this. And I'm gonna do emails and a little Pilates with Nicole video, shower and get ready for bed and just spend the rest of the night editing. So I'm very excited. Yo, I found this book in my dad's bookshelf that I'm guessing is mine from a while ago, but it's Grimm's Complete Fairy Tales, and I'm so excited to read one. I used to love reading fairy tales, and I think it was Einstein who said that if you want to be smart, read fairy tales. Okay, that's probably not the correct quote. I'm going to put it here, but... It's because he really emphasized the importance of imagination. And I really took that quote and ran with it. These were my whole childhood and they are grim. Like they are kind of intense. I have a lisp. Do you hear this? <laughs> with my Invisalign in, it's definitely gonna be a little adjustment. I'm gonna end this video here. I'm so exhausted. It's 10.30 PM. I don't know how I've lasted this long and I went to sleep really late and I'm jet lagged, but I have another full day tomorrow. So thank you so much for being here with me and watching my little glow up moments. And don't forget that if you would like to add some beautiful new secondhand pieces to your wardrobe to click the link in my description box and use my code HIDOMI for 35% off your first order. But yeah, I'm going to potentially share more from the rest of these days in New York City. I'm actually gonna film a video with my dad that I'm really excited about, just painting and having a little art date together and interviewing him about raising my crazy ass in our chaotic household and being an immigrant in New York City and not fully knowing English and all of his experiences because I'm really curious and as you get older you start thinking about these things that you don't think about when you're younger I don't even know how my parents met I don't know if they were ever fully in love I don't know if he still loves her I don't know any of these things so I'm really excited I'm gonna cut it out but I just read one of these stories for the camera and it was really disappointing I don't know if I like this version but that was just one story so there's still tons of potential but I have not heard of that one. It's about a beggar woman who literally just burns by the fire by accident and then the little boy in his cottage feels bad about it and that was the whole story. Anyway, I'm gonna go to sleep. I love you, I cherish you. Please continue entering through any of the doorways that bring you to more ease, more clarity, more remembrance of who you really are and what you're here to do. I'm so proud of you. We're in this whole life thing together, so just know you're not alone in any of your experiences and it is gonna be okay. <sighs> Good night.